There are some uh, elements uh, of the Windows platforms which are truly unique, uh, both for consumers and for developers. For consumers, it's an easy, fresh, fast, uh, you know, really innovative UI, which is extremely people-centric. It's really absolutely, um, you know, consistent with this paradigm uh, of the app economy being really socially centered. People that are uh, interacting with other people to discover content, to discover apps, to share experiences around apps. Windows, uh, the Windows platform is extremely social. For developers, it introduces uh, a new application paradigm, which is called the Metro paradigm. The Metro apps are apps that are designed uh, in a way which uh, has uh, you know, those elements of freshness, of speed, uh, of uh, you know, instant communication with the consumer through live ties at the center of the app experience. Once you go into this new paradigm of apps, you start to think about how to communicate uh, with consumers uh, in a new way, how to actually present content in a new, fresh, uh, innovative way, and also, you know, of course, uh, how to distribute your apps uh, into you know, a marketplace uh, which uh, is based uh, on locally relevant content mixed with great uh, you know, global blockbusters uh, and it makes it really, really easy to find the application that you want. Yeah, we always say that if you want to address uh, the high-end smartphone market, uh, you know, you're really targeting the Lumia range. If you want to really uh, reach uh, a massive scale of distribution, then the Asha family is a fantastic opportunity. Those devices are really blurring the line between a smartphone and a feature phone. They really introduce smartphone qualities, so they really have uh, you know, an incredible UI experience, but also as you, uh, you know, have seen uh, probably what we presented at Nokia World, some of the greatest apps like Angry Birds, like Foursquare, are running on those, on those devices uh, in a very, very, very high quality way. We're never compromising on quality as we're bringing those applications to a broader range of consumers. The, taste of consumers is very different from country to country so there are similarities across the whole range in terms of some of the blockbusters like uh, you know as i mentioned uh, you know foursquare or 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 whatsapp or or, or angry birds those are really presence, uh, present present uh, across the range but then as you go deeper into you know the local aspect uh, uh, of consumption you find that there are very very unique characteristics from country to country that need to be leveraged and those are really i think in my opinion the big, biggest opportunities for local developers to emerge because they're given the opportunity to connect with local consumers as you broaden the possibility of distributing apps across the entire product range we're addressing developers uh, locally in a very uh, sort of a um, you know direct way because we have people in the field uh, you know in many countries around the world and when we address uh, uh, developers locally first of all we try to understand what's unique about their offering how can they find their customers locally and how can they actually uh, uh, promote themselves so right now if you look at our marketing campaigns including our above the line campaigns we give space to local developers to actually be promoted together with our products because that we believe that bringing them closer to the consumer is actually you know it's really our mission at the same time when we address a local developer because of the breadth and the scale of the store that now reaches over 10 million uh, uh, downloads per day we show them uh, the opportunity to export apps uh, in other countries and because of all our stores which are really interconnected together there's a, a sort of an import export uh, network of apps that allows local developers to find opportunities uh, uh, you know everywhere in the world so we have uh, you know for example some developers from colombia who has uh, f you know found uh, customers uh, you know in many many countries in the world uh, uh, and they're now like the number one uh, um, uh, Colombian developer uh, uh, ever on the mobile side. They're actually working uh, and distributing through Nokia. Uh, another example is a company called Shazam, which everybody knows, who does uh, music tagging and recognition. Once they started working with us, they increased the number of countries that they reach from 65 to 120, almost overnight, because of the reach. So it's an opportunity for global companies to reach deeply into the local uh, uh, you know, uh, economies, but also for local developers to have the ability to find consumers everywhere in other local stores.